Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as promised last week, uh, this week we've got a nice big haul video. Um, uh, also, as mentioned last week, it's going to be the first one for 2021. So those are the first packages arriving from, from overseas for 2021, which includes the first purchases um, of, the new, of, of the new RLC membership um, term. So that's going to be uh, a couple of my firsts. Um, also included uh, the, some of the obvious candidates that I missed out on that I had to get on a secondary market. Those are included in this haul as well. Um, as well as uh, a couple of trades I did locally and uh, also some local finds. Uh, there was a surprising amount of Matchbox uh, uh, stock uh, showing up on our local shelves. So yeah, I got lucky on a couple of those. All right, so uh, we'll dive into the boxes and, and see what we pull up. Right, let's get to this uh, the star boxes on my desk. Um, I'll start out with the first shipment from overseas uh, from the forwarding company I use in Florida. Uh, so that's going to be the RLC stuff. Get some of the packaging out of the way. Uh, right, first out of the box, we're going to try and do this in chronological order. Uh, first out of the box was the the earliest purchase in this box. Uh, this still qualifies as a 2020 membership car, um, although um, the, the, the sale was pushed back into 2021. Uh, the, the BMW M3, uh, the 2006 model in sort of a, um, I think it's obviously Spectra Flame paint, but sort of a um, anti-freeze color. Uh, maybe a little more to the yellow, a little less green than the normal anti-freeze color they use. Uh, also with the opening hood. Uh, this one is obviously, you've, you might have seen the, the, the jokes and the memes about the hood. So, uh, a lot of the models, uh, because they've got the little plastic piece in there that props up the hood uh, to show the inside of the, the engine bay, uh, a lot of them don't actually close flush. So you, <laughs> you have a lot of... Um, videos of collectors tapping their, tapping their hoods to try and keep them shut or try and bend them shut. Um, so yeah, but but it's definitely not all of them. I'm, I'm obviously not opening mine up to find out. I, ignorance is bliss in this case. Uh, I'll just imagine that mine closes uh, perfectly. So uh, yeah, we'll keep, keep that, in, in, that one in the packaging for now. Uh, then that would be, right, chronologically this would be the first car for the 2021 membership year because this is the member members car the membership car that you get with the magic pin and the patch the RLC 2021 membership patch okay so if you didn't take the digital only membership for this year the newly introduced digital only memberships and you took the full membership uh, this is the kit that you got along with your membership the uh, the 1970 Mustang Boss 302 in like a burnt orange color, very nice, uh, highly detailed. This is a very nice one, uh, and also you got the patch and the pin as you do every year. Uh, yeah, this is this was one of the better membership cars uh, compared to compared to the last couple of years. Um, not everybody liked all of the new membership cars recently. You see a lot of people palming theirs off. Uh, on eBay, uh, but this one, yeah, this this one was definitely one of the one of the more popular ones. Um, so I think I think plenty of people decided to go for, to opt for the full, full package and, and maybe get one or two additional digital subscriptions uh, to get at least one of these. Um, so yeah, that that was a good good move. Right, and then finally. Finally, the candy stripe, uh, which would have been my first purchase um, with my new 2021 membership. Uh, you all saw the, the video, hopefully, um, about how that one turned out. Uh, if you didn't see mine, you probably saw somebody else's. Uh, there was a lot of hate going around uh, for the for the new system. Uh, lots of salty people not being able to pick up. I was absolutely one of them, not being able to pick one up during the sale. Um, yeah, I had to had to turn to the secondary market. Um, got pretty lucky with this one. Um, as I was looking for uh, a good price on one of these, 
um, pictures started to surface about the the variation in the card. There's a card variation on this one. One has a pink VW logo. Uh, the normal, well, I'm going to call it the normal one, has the silver logo in the on, on the card art. Um, the um, the numbers, it's a little unclear about the numbers. It was uh, initially thought that the first 5,000 numbers had, um, I'm going to try and focus this, try to see what, if you can see. Okay, so the, initially we thought that the first 5,000 numbers um, came with the pink logo, shipped with the pink uh, logo card. Um, this one obviously still falling into that bracket as it's just under 5,000. Um, but I've also seen a couple above 5,000. So I'm, I'm guessing the, the, the real number is somewhere between 5,500 and 6,000, just maybe just under 6,000 6, 6, that had the pink uh, variation. So, so pictures started to surface as I was looking for that, and I picked this one up just before the pink card started to, to the price has started to skyrocket. Uh, and then got uh, got lucky as well with a uh, eBay uh, sent me a little um, uh, promotional discount coupon, uh, which which I was able to use on this one as well. So um, didn't end up paying uh, a full arm and a leg for this one. I just settled on half an arm and a couple of, couple of toes. Right, but uh, very happy to have this one in the collection. Uh, I'm not going to be fiddling with it in and out of the protector because a lot of people have been reporting that they that their blisters have started coming off the off the card or that some of them arrived with the blister a little loose from the card, uh, which is fairly common uh, with uh, with drag buses because it's a heavy casting. This is probably one of the heavier castings that they ship, uh, so it is a bit of an issue. Um, I did check mine mine is attached to the card perfectly as a sta at this stage and I would very much like to keep it that way uh, so I lucked out on that as well so I don't have the the, the other variation I thought look I, I did, did go through a bit of trouble to get one I did pay a lot more than I wanted to in the end for one so um, I don't really I, and, and again I got got the pink variation which is the rarer one um, at a good price so at, at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be happy with that. If, if I end up with just the one and not the variation, then that, so be it. That's, that's fine by me. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on the prices, see if they do come down. I'm not too sure what's going to happen because the prices spiked very, very quickly, um, very early on. So in those cases, they do tend to settle a bit and then come back down a, a bit later on. Whereas if the prices take a long time to sort of build up, um, they tend to go high and stay high but uh, yeah well, i'll keep an eye on that one but uh, yeah happy to add that one to the collection that was was probably the most wanted car uh, from what i'd seen previewed for the rlc for 2021 anything other than this would be a bonus for this year and speaking of bonuses um of course everybody knows if you've if you've watched any of the videos before from the channel i started out uh, featuring the vintage racing uh, set um, doing a couple of cars uh, each episode when I started out with and then the sort of crown jewel in my collection is the cars that I have signed by the drivers um, and I'm always on the lookout for for more I must say was very lucky to find this one uh, this one's going to be very rare and I don't know how many more of these will turn up uh, Dan Gurney's Mercury Cougar signed by legend himself uh, so this was yeah i was very happy and very lucky to get uh, to, to, to come across this listing very early on um, again not paying an arm and a leg I, I paid what i consider well below market market price for this car um, and this is a, a great addition to the to the collection i'd very much like to get the ar cuda uh, signed by him as well. Um, uh, obviously, it's it's the late Dan Gurney, so he, you know, there won't be any new ones. If if there aren't any signed already, then then they're not going to show up. Um, so yeah, um, still keeping an eye out, but yeah, very happy to add this to the collection. Uh, I think the total at the moment 
stands at seven cars that I have from the vintage racing series signed by their respective drivers. Um, there's another one on the way, so I'll save that for another video. And then I've also got a lead on a on another another one um, that I'm keeping an eye on um, and trying to do a deal on that one. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm very happy to add this one to the collection. Really, really happy. Uh, and then lastly, from from Mattel, I'll pop this back in the protector. Um, one of the cars, I think the membership car. Uh, the membership car, I added something more to the package, which was, uh, I'm going to need some space because it's a fairly big box. This is the, oh, there goes some of the packaging, Hot Wheels Collectors E-Track and Car Keepers. So uh, if you go onto the, onto collectors.com, you'll still find these for sale. Uh, it's a set of 15 uh, official Hot Wheels uh, protectors, car protectors, and also comes with a piece of exclusive track. Uh, I'll, I'll open it up quickly and I'll, I'll show you the track piece. Uh, it's aimed at, 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 at collectors specifically, so you, but you can use them on any, any track set um, that uses Hot Wheels tracks. of that gas box and that's that's it so it's a black piece of uh, track with red con connectors and that's a collectors that come exclusive track piece I thought this is was nice and then also I needed to replace uh, some of my uh, 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 protectors my uh, official Hot Wheels branded protectors uh, I've got a few cars that uh, that came came in shipped uh, that had bent protectors, uh, so I'd like to just like to replace them with with proper ones. So I was always uh, planning on adding one of these packs to one of the orders, and I thought, well, while I was while I was uh, had the option to add it to one of the RLC sales, uh, I did it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the haul from Mattel. Right, and then on to a purchase that I did with a local collector. Um, I have gotten some of my cars from him before. Uh, he's one of the more well-known and respected uh, uh, sellers, uh, online e-tailers uh, in South Africa. Um, he runs the Hot Wheels SA site or the DC Imports with the original name, DC Imports site, uh, Matthew Struble. So if you're in South Africa looking for cars at decent prices, uh, uh, and he's got quite the range as well, uh, hit up Matthew. Uh, I'll link his, his, his details below. Um, I picked these, these two beauties up. Uh, this one I'd already featured uh, one in a previous video where I look at uh, some of my very harder to find cars in, in, the, in the collection. Uh, Matthew offered this one up uh, on an auction but it had a, a damaged blister and, and the, the person that he offered it to uh, passed on it uh, since he already had an open one. I said, well, if I even wanted uh, to open one up, I wouldn't mind uh, picking up a second one. So I did that and then while we were while we were negotiating, I thought, well, I've always looked, I've been, been looking out for the A100 from the Snoopy set, the second series. Um, it's it's one of the better renditions of the a, the Dodge A100 in my opinion. Love the wheels, love the deco, love the color. Uh, it's got a decent amount of detail for a uh, for a pop culture car. Let's see if I can get uh, a little bit focus on take these out of the way. Christmas tree theme. It's obviously a Chris, Christmas theme with the Dodge logo. Race, let's call them racing stripes. 
along the top and then they've got these red line reel riders uh, the bigger ones that usually ship on the on the on the, on the trucks and these I love these wheels as well so yeah uh, very happy to pick these up uh, probably my two favorite pop culture cars ever uh, that, that includes all of the ones that I own all of the ones that I don't own yet um, these two would probably be top of the list any day right, and then I also found uh, some matchbox cars locally um, they came in at one stage then they were out of stock very quickly it didn't seem that they brought in very many of them um, but then some of our retailers restocked on them and now you can get them pretty much anywhere uh, it's the Germany series um, matchbox, matchbox uh, they're doing a sort of a by country subset uh, every couple of months uh, this one was probably the most sought after one the, the VW Transporter Crew Cab um, you got them in two variations this one had items in the back the variation had nothing at the, in the back um, so I picked up these two one of each and then also the original Golf GTI in the set the Mark 1 nice and very light red seems a very authentic color if I, if I recall them correctly in the Germany series and one of my favorite castings uh, although this colorway had been done in the main line just last year uh, the the BMW 2002 it's the 1969 model BMW 2 uh, 2002 on the license Plate. the details decent on these um, because because they don't have uh, well on this one specifically because it doesn't have side tempos or top tempos uh, they'll do the headlights and the tail lights and the license plate on these uh, properly so yeah uh, these there are others in the set but these were the only ones that are that I really wanted to look out for uh, these are my favorite castings based on real cars and, and also like the, the colors, the very basic authentic colors on these um, yeah, it's not bad very nice little subset uh, the, the next batch that's supposed to hit our shores is the UK cars, after that uh, I think there's a French set and then also there's a Russian set in the pipeline I don't know how quickly we'll be getting those um, but I'll, I'll keep a watch out and then post if I find them I'll post it to Instagram so you guys can see see what those those look like as well and, and what to look out for on your shelves all right uh, that's, a, that's a pretty hefty haul by my standards um, thanks for sitting through it with me um, yeah if you like the video please give it a like uh, hit that uh, that subscribe button if you haven't already leave your comments below uh, if you've got them uh, let me know if I've, uh, if I've missed something or if you'd like to add something to the to the discussion, you're more than welcome to. All right, everybody, keep safe. I'll see you next time. Keep well.